here I have a thermocouple um, reader PCB which fits over onto the GPIO pins like so be careful to get that lined up carefully not like that there that is now lined up correctly and we're ready to attach a thermocouple we cut off the plug that would normally go into a multimeter or whatever and uh, we're inserting it here into the Raspberry Pi and then screwing up taking care to get the polarity right getting the plus and minus of this wire correct okay so now we can measure temperature on the end here when the software has been downloaded into this yeah. okay so here I have some uh, standard uh, freezer spray this is kind of butane spray goes down to about minus 55 centigrade so if we have our thermocouple under test here it's reading um, about 27 centigrade There we go. So it's quite a warm day, so it's, it's uh, heating up quite quickly. But there, that demonstrates the uh, TH7 is able to read negative temperatures down to absolute zero in theory. Okay, using this same thermocouple, which is now just warming back up to room temperature. We can now take it and place it in a flame until it gets red hot and as you can see the temperature is shooting up and it's um, I keep that in the tip of the flame precisely there we go it's gone cherry red and I think we hit 800 yep yeah so a very wide range of the K-type thermocouple and the TH7 clips with negative and, and uh, up to around 1000 centigrade. <laughs> the TH7 has a detection circuitry to tell you if a thermocouple is not connected. So if the thermocouple became cut or um, a thermocouple broke open here and went open circuit you would see this because this circuit board detects if there's nothing connected and gives you an error signal on the channel so um, some thermocouple readers will simply give you the temperature of the PCB back if the thermocouple goes open but not this one the standard Python software running on the, uh, the TH7 uh, logs and it can log to uh, it logs to uh, text files, CSV, or SQLite database, and the programming interval is uh, configurable. So we typically run them at 30 second intervals, but we have run them at two second intervals with SQLite for um, for some applications. If you haven't used SPI or enabled SPI on your Raspberry Pi, we need to do this to use the TH7. This is a simple job in Raspberry Pi config. Ensure that the username that you're using is in the SPI Unix group. This is uh, an easy, this is easy to do. We can edit using sudo the file slash etc group we go down to the SPI entry and then you can add any usernames you need. Pi will normally be in there anyway. The user. Download the software for the TH7 from its Git repository. Details in the video description.
There are three working code examples. SSH terminal TH7.py is a general purpose info screen, seven channels, the PCB temperature and the voltage supply coming from the USB. The next one is TH7logger.py. This is designed to log with the SQLite 3 database. Third is thermometers underscore th7.py. This draws real time thermometer graphics representing all seven thermocouple channels. The LEDs are user programmable from Python. In the working examples, they're just used to show that the th7 software is running. 